923 and did you know Cleveland is home to the largest open access makerspace and innovation center in the United States. It's part of a newly renovated space at the Sears Think Box on the Case Western Reserve University campus. In today's Mission Possible, we're highlighting how it's already helping the community. Case Western Reserve University Sears Think Box is a seven-story innovation center. Though located on campus, it's not just for students. We've always been open to the community, but now we're at a point where we're being more intentional of being like proactive in how we engage with the community. Each floor serves a different purpose. The most popular, two makerspace floors filled with equipment like 3D printers, laser, and water jet cutters. So that space is like a library. You can come use the machines for free, and we teach you how to use the machines as well. Also in demand is the new community floor, 5,000 square feet, featuring an auditorium, two activity rooms, and exhibition area. Two organizations recently used it to hold a community workshop on lead poisoning. It was great to be able to bring community into the think box, work with professors, and actually come out with a full-fledged system dynamic model around the subjects we were talking about. Collective Citizens Organized Against Lead and Undivided Cleveland both address lead problems in Cleveland communities. See coal through education and connecting people to resources, Undivided Cleveland through charity work and their lead abatement program. We want to provide legitimate justice to them. Health equity, economic equity, the same liberties and access to this country that the privileged people who are not ridden by um, lead exposure, the same liberties they have. Having this space available allows them to better focus on the task at hand. It's actually incredible because we don't have it where we're where we from. See, Case Western provided six, seven different ways for you to have a place to go. A gathering place so we can organize. Um, after COVID, a lot of places shut down. Both groups see the university's desire to open the campus further for the benefit of the community. Cleveland is starting to catch up to this um, shift, this corporate shift and this social shift of uh, the renaissance of uh, stimulating communities rather than prioritizing big business. 11 years after opening and half a million visits, Thinkbox is still considered a quiet, lesser known resource. Case is ready to change that. I think we're at a really pivotal point where I think we're going to see a real increase in community users using our space. Students have also launched businesses at Thinkbox. Cleaner, which developed a microplastics filter for washing machines, and 3D Music, which prints plastic violins. Both have had success and been featured right here on 3 News.